Welcome to week 24 of Hot 5 and 5, where we cover the 5 biggest stories in the gaming industry of the week in 5 minutes or less. This is a weekly scripted news series hosted by myself, BK Bossman, and Charlie ZRS. Before we start, we would also like to apologize for not releasing an episode of Hot 5 and 5 last week. Bad scheduling got in the way of producing the video. But now, let's jump right into the news. Developer of the longtime video game series Need for Speed, Ghost Games has officially announced the first details about this year's release of the title. What was already known was that 2014 was the first year in a streak of 10 that a new quote unquote core title of the series was not released. This has been acknowledged by Ghost's general manager, Marcus Nielsen, explaining how, and I quote, Need for Speed needs to understand what it really is. The developer wanted more time to build a very specific game. With a teaser trailer released about the game, still not much is known, however the game will be an, and I quote, open world day to night racer featuring deep customization car culture. This teaser trailer is just a tiny slice of the future information coming about the title, lots of which will be heard by the public at this year's E3. Battlefield 4's new update will be arriving this upcoming Tuesday, May 26th, with new guns and a new mode to the multiplayer first person shooter. DICE has announced that the update will hit each console and will be offline for an hour to this following schedule which you can see on the screen right now. The new guns that are being added which DICE didn't give specific names and looks just an idea but are an assault rifle, a fan favorite chosen on its unique gameplay, a carbine, a bullpop carbine with a built in vertical grip, a PDW which has a built in silencer, a sidearm long range sniper using magnum rounds, and an LMG, basically your running gun balances in between gameplay, and a belt fed LMG and an AR. This update also improves the number of crashes and rebalances all weapons. In the past week there has been lots of news on the scene pertaining to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Having a highly praised release this week, developer of the game CD Projekt Red has had important developers from the studio respond to questions asked by Eurogamer about concerns of a graphics downgrade, where they admit that the visuals in the actual playable title don't exactly match the graphics shown in the video of the game at the VGX Awards two years ago. Witcher 3 has also had a PC patch release that seems to fix some small stability, performance, and graphic issues. This patch is yet to release for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 versions of the game, and according to CD Projekt Red, will arrive to both consoles next week at the earliest. A future patch has also been announced that addresses a font size issue in the game, stated by Marcin Mamet through responding to a tweet about the issue. Sony UK has released a new PlayStation 4 TV ad that does not hold back in boasting about the company's new system, touting it as the world's most powerful console. The 30 second video hypes three major new and upcoming releases including Bloodborne, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, and Batman Arkham Knight. A narrator also uses the line, only on PS4. Bloodborne is the only true PS4 exclusive, although Arkham Knight will have some content made available only for Sony consoles, The Witcher 3 meanwhile does not have any console exclusive content. Although the Xbox One outsold the PS4 in April, Sony's console is the cumulative leader in current generation sales race, with more than 22.3 million units sold. Oculus VR, the Facebook-owned company, is facing yet another lawsuit with the Hawaiian company. Total Recall Technologies is accusing Lucky Palmer, the founder, of stealing confidential information from TRT in violation of a confidentiality agreement that he signed when he left the company. The complaint also accuses him of passing that information as his own. TRT says that Lucky was hired in 2011 to help create a prototype that had mounted display. TRT says that Lucky used this stolen information to create the Oculus Rift, his own version of the head mounted display. This isn't the only lawsuit Oculus has faced. Just one year ago, after Facebook bought Oculus for $2 billion, a company called ZeniMax challenged Oculus to a legal duel, which Facebook stated was greedy in an attempt to cash in on Oculus' success. That's your 5 of 5 for this week, May 17th to May 23rd. Thank you for watching and be sure to check back next week for a brand new Hot 5 of 5 episode. Improvements are always on our mind, so if you have anything that we should fix, add, change, or remove, then be sure to leave a comment below. Now again, thank you for watching this Hot 5 of 5. We hope you enjoyed. This is BAK Bossman signing out. Happy gaming!